everybody, Mandy here to share with you a product review today. Today I have the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, or if you want to be all fancy and French about it, you could say Silk Creme Foundation. <laughs> if you would have told me a few years ago that I would have ever spent $47 on a foundation, I would have told you you're absolutely crazy. Because up to that point, I had only ever bought like drugstore foundations, like CoverGirl and things like that. So. My first non-drugstore purchase uh, in foundation was actually NARS Sheer Glow. And I enjoyed it so much that I've actually been using that for the last couple of years. But it was time to move on. The Sheer Glow wasn't quite covering for me the way I needed it to. Uh, as you see, I have a lot of redness uh, in my cheeks, and nose, and chin area. And I need to be able to cover that up, but without it getting too cakey and without it being too drying on my skin. So I tried a couple different things out. Um, I tried the MAC Studio Tech Foundation. Uh, that was a little too cakey for me. I tried the Studio Fix Powder Foundation. That was too dry. Uh, I tried the MAC Matchmaster Foundation, but it the color and the coverage was just not what I expected. Um, so I decided to get out of the MAC store, try something else, went to Sephora, and I tried this Walked around the mall, looked at it in different light, and this was the best coverage and the best color match that I was able to find. So, here we go. This is what the package looks like. It's kind of a dark purpley squeeze tube with a twist off cap. And the only thing I don't like about that is that it's a little harder for me to control how much I use. Because when I was using the NARS Sheer Glow, I bought the pump with it, so it was like, you know, I had a pump and that was an even amount. So I'm having to get used to regulating how much I use of this. Um, now on this four website, they describe this as a rich, long wear foundation that gives a professional, full coverage finish, which I agree with. This is the longest wearing foundation that I've ever had. Uh, I used to put on my foundation and then by the time I got home from work, it was patchy and when I would take my makeup off at night, uh, I could use basically one makeup wipe and get all of it off. With this, I have to use more than one makeup wipe because there's so much foundation left on my skin. So that's a good thing, <laughs> uh, except for I have to buy more makeup wipes. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and put this on so you can see what it looks like and how it covers. Um, and then I'm also gonna post a before picture, waha, and an after side by side so you can really see the difference. Um, I'm just going to put a little of this on the back of my hand. And the only reason I'm doing this is because that's what other people in makeup videos do. But I don't do this in real life. <laughs> in real life, I ain't got time to be putting stuff on the back of my hand. But anyway, <laughs> I usually just dab it directly on the brush. Yeah, this feels really awkward to me doing it this way. Anyway, this is a... Let me stop in the middle here. <laughs> this is a Sigma um, Flat Kabuki Brush, number F80. And I really enjoy this for buffing foundation on. Okay, so there you go. And as you see, it covers the redness really well. This is without any primer or any concealer or any powder after. So this is just the foundation covering. Um, of course, on days when I have a little more redness, I may put some concealer on or just powder over top of this. But the one thing I love about this foundation, as you can see, it gives a really nice, like, lit from within glow. A uh, very natural glow to the skin. I hardly ever have to use any highlighters or, you know, highlighting glow products on my skin after using this foundation because it gives such a nice sheen. And on areas where I may be oilier that day, you know, uh, I can just powder over and that helps keep some of that sheen down. But I love the way the sheen looks. So there you have it. On the Sephora website, this does have four stars out of five approximately um, and like over 1,600 reviews. Uh, and I think the majority of the bad reviews probably come from people who have oily skin and don't want this sheen. Um, but if you want that lip from within glow, then this is a really good foundation to get. Covers really well, lasts a long time. Hands down, worth the money. Um, I compared this in price to the NARS Sheer Glow since that was what I was already getting because this is a little bit more, but you get a little bit more product in this tube. 
um, than you do in the sheer glue. The sheer glue just looks like there's more in it because it's in a glass bottle, but if you really look at those glass bottles, they're really thick and there's not as much product in there as you would think. Um, but the I know the NARS sheer glue lasts me a long time, so if I can just learn to regulate my, my squeezes out of this, I think this will last me a really long time as well. The color I'm wearing today is called Cream Ivory. And normally in a MAC, I'm like an NC, NW15 slash 20, somewhere in there. Mostly neutral except for the redness in my face. Um, so if you are of similar shade, then the Cream Ivory may be for you. Now on the Sephora website, they had nine different colors. I don't remember what they have in store. I don't know if that line carries any more than nine colors. It's kind of disappointing that they don't have very many shades because this is an excellent foundation and I think they really need to branch out and be able to accommodate more skin colors. Um, but that is my review and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what foundation is your favorite and if you plan to try the Laura Mercier or if you've ever tried it and what you think about it. Just leave a comment below. Also, if you haven't already, please click subscribe. And if you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram at the Mandy Van Hook. Until next time, don't forget to stay fierce and fabulous. Bye.